I should not be misunderstood in this analysis. There are many cases where people have not governed to the best of their abilities. And they thought that the social support base of the party, which is a political word that we use for caste support base in India, despite inadequate governance will come to their rescue. It has happened in the past. But the second lesson is that if you don't govern well, caste alone will not save you. Therefore, you either perform or you perish. And therefore, parties which have got single digit seats or not a single seat. My friend Mr. Satish Mishra was giving us sermons that the Congress has traveled from here to the other side and we've traveled here and we are in the danger of moving there must seriously introspect the figure that his party did not get in UP. What people want is governance and not merely combinations or a social combination as a substitute for governance. People who thought that even if there are allegations of corruption, there are conviction orders against them, there are serious allegations by just manipulating their position in coalition politics, they can continue to survive. Across the board have received a serious setback. Those who thought they can switch alliances and therefore defy the mandate which put them in power earlier were taught a lesson by the electorate. Those who thought that political leadership doesn't grow on merit but only grows within families, center or states, who relied on dynasties as the only instrument of leadership creation, by and large have suffered a serious setback in this election. And those who thought and who used phrases like consolidation of a particular caste or community, vote bank politics, strategic voting, most of them again suffered a setback in the election. What do all these facts indicate? That Indian democracy now is evolving. We've seen a maturing of Indian democracy where people gave a verdict which is far higher than what some of us also expected. People don't want political instability. People want governments to govern for five years. They want governments to govern for and govern well. And whether it is dynasties or it is caste or it is merely religious issues that somebody said, these will not be substitutes for governance.